Today we're going to learn how to use Book Track Classroom. When you first log in, you'll be taken to this screen here. You're going to click on Create. It'll give you a place where we can copy and paste your chapter title and your text from your Word document that you created. Once you've added all the text, you're ready to start adding sounds. Make sure you hit that save button frequently so that your work will always be there. Once you've gotten all your text copied and pasted into the book, you're going to click on the tab for sound. Here, we can highlight different pieces of our text, and once we do, it brings us straight to the music screen. There are three choices, music, ambiance, and effect. For example, we could search for something that has to do with laughter. Oh, well, I didn't find any real music about laughter, but when I click on ambiance, I get some sounds. When I click on effect, I get different sounds. Notice these effects are usually shorter than the ambiance and the music. So there's no good music things here. For example, Sunshine gets me different tracks here that I can select from. All right, once I find the one that I like, I hit the select button, and that puts that into this part of my text. So now when I go to preview it, it starts at the beginning, and then when I get to the appropriate place in the text, the music will play and stop. Now if I decide I want that to extend longer, all I have to do is click and drag the end bubble. Same thing here at the beginning, I can start it a little later. I can change a fade in and the fade out. Okay, I can choose to loop the music or not, and I can adjust the volume within that. If I decide I don't like it, I can hit change to track. Now if I don't want it at all, I hit the delete button. Okay, and again, now I can re-highlight text and come back to the screen again. Now I'm going to show you, you can actually use text more than once. Now I've highlighted in the same spot again, okay, and I can pick now two different musics to go on the same text. All right, so now I'll pick a different one. All right, so you see I have this overlying parts where different music is going to play. Now, if I want to erase one of them, again, I hit the delete, the other ones stay in place. All right, if I decide this is reading too slow, here is where I adjust the reading speed so that the music goes more naturally with your reading speed. Again, the music will automatically play when you get to the right text based on the number that shows up here in reading speed. Okay, don't forget to save often. And then when we're all done, we'll move over here to publish where we can name it, okay, select what type of genre, okay, what it's for, when we say rating, we want it rated G, so it's good for everyone. And then we can create a cover using things from the gallery or something that you've uploaded from the internet yourself. Okay, this will take you to your drives where you can use whatever pictures you already have. Okay, it does say it's looking for a JPEG image. I don't know if that'll let us change it here. Okay, and you can add text if you would like when you're all done, you hit finalize. Once you hit finalize, that's it. You can't change that cover again without deleting it and starting again. Your last step is to hit publish, and it'll go out into the public here. You can tell it what class it belongs on, and you hit publish, and there it goes. Now it'll be on your class's bookshelf for your class to see. Okay, Class bookshelf, it will show up here.